Hey everyone, how are you doing this evening? It's Marla. It is my perceptions comparison time and I am comparing two CC creams I picked up right before I left on a trip several weeks ago. One is by Bobbi Brown and it is in Warm Nude and the other one is the Revlon Age Defying CC Cream. I picked them both up I thought I was going to like the Bobby Brown better. You got to stay tuned to see what happens. I'll show you a comparison between the two of them and I'll actually do a kind of very fast speed get ready with me video with the one I chose. Which one was it? So I am fresh out of the shower. I have no makeup on right now, no eyebrows, and I'm going to kind of compare these two CC creams that I happen to have in my drawer. The reason I decided to compare these two in a video is because I had just picked up both of these probably within days of each other. I was originally planning on taking one of these on a trip with me and the one I thought I was going to be taking I ended up not taking and the Revlon was the one I took. So let me do the comparison. The Bobbi Brown CC Cream, I know I told you about these already, but the Bobbi Brown CC Cream I have is in Warm Nude, and the Revlon Age Defying CC Cream is just in Medium. It comes in, I think, light, medium, and maybe dark. And what I'll do is I'll just put a little bit of moisturizer on my face, because this is what I would normally do in the morning, so I'm going to do what I would normally do to compare these. So I little, put a little bit of moisturizing brightening cream on my skin because I am someone that likes more of a dewy sort of look. I am very close to the camera so you can kind of see what these look like on. On, let's see, on this side I think I will put the CC Cream by Bobbi Brown. And I think this was $44, I'm not quite sure. But you can see the color. It's very kind of a yellowish shade. This is called Warm Nude, but the shade below it was, uh, I mean, the shade darker was way, way too dark. So this is the one I ended up having to get. So you can see what the Bobbi Brown looks like. And then on this cheek, I'm going to rub in. You can see the consistency and the color. Consistency is almost the same. I would say maybe the Bobbi Brown is a little bit thicker feeling than the Revlon. And the Revlon is slightly more of a beigeier, kind of not really a pink undertone as much as just kind of more of a little slightly beigeier compared to this very yellow undertone. So I'm going to rub the Bobbi Brown in. I'm only going to do it from the my eyes down. Normally I would put it all over my face, but because I'm just doing this to show you and my bangs are kind of all over my face, you're really going to be able to just see mainly my cheeks. So I rub that in there and now I'm going to rub in the Revlon. They both rub in pretty much super easily. No, no real difference. So this is the Bobbi Brown. This is the Revlon. I like more of a kind of a dewier look. Now, I don't know if you can tell with the Bobbi Brown, there's, I would probably say if I was feeling these, the Revlon is a little bit tackier, just a touch tackier, stickier than the Bobbi Brown, but nothing that's kind of a, nothing that really would deter me from purchasing it. But when you look at them on, I really notice no kind of major difference between the two of these. I mean, if you're looking at me straight on, do you really see, do you really see that much difference? No. So the thing was, is why, and I don't really notice any more, you know, obviously, or it may be that the Revlon may not do as good a job of redness, let's see, around my nose. Okay, that's the Bobbi Brown around my redness and my nose. And then let me put some more of the Revlon around my nose. You know, I really don't notice much of a difference between the two of them, to be honest with you. I would say the Revlon stays a little bit stickier and wetter than the Bobbi Brown does. 
but I powder my face, I spot powder my face around my nose anyway. And really for the price difference, I think this is Bobby Brown's like $44. I can't remember how much the Rev Revlon was, but it's the drugstore brand. So it's, it's really a lot less expensive. I just can't see purchasing the Bobby Brown. I just don't notice that much of an amazing difference between this side of my face and this side of my face to justify the purchase of the Bobbi Brown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually rewash my face again and I will use the Revlon CC Cream and add all my other makeup and let you see what a kind of finished look with this Revlon product looks like. My face is all clean, so let's get started. I'm first gonna moisturize my face with a bright vitamin C BB Serum. I'm putting on the Revlon CC Cream in the shade Medium. Next is my Shiseido Sun Protection Stick Foundation in the shade Ochre. Next is the Smashbox Eyeshadow Trio in Quick Take. The shadows are a little hard to blend, but I love that color of green so much on my brown eyes, I had to purchase it. A little eyelash curl. And this is a mascara I got as a sample. It's the Baby Doll Mascara by YSL. A little bit of Boing concealer around the redness of my nose from Benefit. This is shade number 03. Time for those hideous eyebrows of mine. They need to be totally drawn on and my favorite of all time thing to do that is my Maybelline Color Tattoo. It's awesome in toughest taupe for black eyebrows. You can draw your eyebrows on. They will stay on all day. They won't come off. They look very natural. The shade is not brown. It's not red. It's just an awesome shade that goes really well with someone that has black brows. I absolutely love this Naked Urban Decay Flushed Palette. There is a beautiful blush in there. There's also a bronzer in there. It's very light. You can even use it as a contour. I just love it. It just adds a really pretty glow to my face. Absolutely no orange, just very lightweight, not too heavy. With a highlighter, but I just don't use the highlighter in the middle very much. Oops, I almost forgot my under eye concealer. I use the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer by It Cosmetics in the shade Tan.
My favorite little highlighter is from Benefit. It is What's Up. And just a little powdering with my Tarte Mineral Powder. For my lips, I'm using L'Oreal Color Riche in number 800, Ferris Nude. And I'm just going to add a touch of my Buxom Gloss in the shade Sophia. Now it's time to do my hair with my Instyler, and I will be right back. I've gone through the my hair with the Instyler, and now I'm just doing a little back combing to get some body in my hair. I'm going to use my favorite working hairspray, which is the Caviar Anti-Aging Working Hairspray. This is fabulous. And I've gotten ready. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.